Hello, you're here with me, Chaddy Tumblr, and this is a uh, short follow-on video to the laser-guided Maverick tutorial for the Harrier. Um, it's a bit of a troubleshooting guide, um, just for those people who might be having a bit of a problem. I know some of the guys in my squadron have been having issues as well, so I'm just going to go through a little bit of troubleshooting. So we're heading towards the target that we had before in that first video, if you haven't seen it. There's a line of four vehicles up on the coast, and we're going to try and nuke them with some laser-guided Mavericks. So the standard procedure, Master Arm is on, Air's Ground Mode is on, pick the Stores page, select stores and we'll select the Maverick and because we have nothing selected on this side no um, video source like the Fleur or the Teapod we get the Maverick Seeker Head screen so now we need to wait for the Seeker Head to go from normal sorry from standby um, into ready mode and that takes a little bit of time so we're going to speed up time race through Whoop. still says standby Okay, Maverick is now ready, and that's all great. Now at this point, if I, say I went into nav, so I've got Maverick up here to tell me I've got Mavericks. If I went into nav mode, and it's still boxed here, it's now unboxed, and it's disappeared from up here. So the temptation may be to click that to reselect Mavericks. However, don't. If you go back into air to ground mode, if you notice, it's come straight back boxed again, and it still says ready. So we're good to go. So we could then bring up the teapot to get out of standby. Bring it down to the target area. Which is about there. Zoom in. Here's our first target. It's close enough. Take it out of safe. Take it out of training. And we're ready to fire. So what I'll do is I'll show you, if I close the teapot down for a second, we've got this here, the, the seeker head screen. If I uncage at this point, we get the seeker head and it shows us moving around. And we've got the little X that goes up here, so we know that this Maverick is working. So I can cage it back up again, bring the teapot on, wait till we get within range. I'll just speed that up, be about eight miles. Descend a little. Get the next cloud. Just going to tweak the aim slightly. Laser on. Uncage. Again, we've got the X moving around now. Oh, it's gone into safe mode. Hang on, let me just take it out of safe fire the laser. Dink! We've got it locked. It's in range. Rifle. We have that autopilot assist on, so it means that the plane is a lot more steady now that we're massively out of balance. We'll just keep that locked. Boom. Target's destroyed. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you what will happen is if, if we've not done all the stages properly or if we've accident, accidentally hit this button. So let's turn the laser off. Race out. Okay, about eight miles. Turn gently back in again. What I'm going to do this time is, oh, I've been busy working down here and gone into, I don't know, brought the moving map on, right, uh, gone into nav mode, that's another a good one, so we've gone into nav mode, go into stores, oh I see Maverick isn't selected, right I need to select Maverick, and what I've actually done is I've deselected the Maverick, weirdly, because if I then close this down, we haven't got any of the information on here, the Maverick information page isn't up when I've closed this page down. So if I now select the Maverick, it's brought it back up again, and we're in standby again. Because I thought I was selecting it, I was actually deselecting it. So once you box it that first time at the beginning of the mission, just don't touch it if you're planning to do lots of Mavericky type things. So now I'm going to have to wait the two odd minutes for that Maverick to warm up. And if I don't wait, so we'll run into the target now, bring up the teapot. Uh, we'll just hit this guy again, this dead guy. So I've got it. Take my laser off safe. Everything's armed, it's all good to go. Laser's on. Uncage the Maverick. 
it's not doing every, anything. Even though I have it up here, it says it's boxed, I'm trying to uncage, nothing is coming up. And I can do a confidence check, just close this down again, check on this page, it's gone back into standby. I just need to wait. So, might just have enough time. Okay, now it's ready. It's gone back to ready now. So I'm going to have to come around. Teapot up. It's a big old turn. We're going to kill a dead target. But it's just to fire the missile to show that it'll fire. It's gone to safe, so let's take it out of safe. Lasers aren't. Uncage the Maverick. And it's already found it. And we can fire at this already dead target. Rifle. Boom. So hopefully that's been a little bit of a help. The main thing is, as I keep going on about, is don't, once you've got the Maverick warmed up and this is boxed, don't touch this box. Even if it looks, if you're in a different mode, it looks like it's not selected. So it looks like the Maverick is not selected. Don't be tempted to the hit this button again because you'll come out of, out of ready mode and you'll go back into standby. And when you go back into air to ground mode, you'll see it's boxed, it's all good to go. You can always do that confidence check by turning off your teapot and then you can see on here that it's got the big 1688 and it says that it's ready to go. Uh, I think you can check that in two seconds in different modes. So if we're going to feast on mode, take that out. Again, so we're in a different mode but we can still see that confidence check. If you don't see this, then the Maverick is not good to go. If I ax it looks like it's deselected now, because it has no box. If I click it, like I said, when you're in the confidence check page, so we've got no teapot selected, it hasn't brought the, the 1688 page. So we have to go back into, into air to ground, back onto the Maverick, and then wait all that time for that standby to come off. If that hasn't helped your problems, then uh, please let me know. We'll uh, we'll work it out together. We'll definitely get those Mavericks firing. Until then, happy hunting and stay safe. Caution! Caution!